This is TV Platinum. Here are the top five stories making the headline. On number one, the House of Representatives has resolved to accelerate the consideration of a bill seeking to introduce independent candidacy in Nigeria's electoral system. On Thursday, the bill was referred to the Special Ad Hoc Committee on Constitution Review for comprehensive deliberation and further legislative action. The bill, a private member proposal sponsored by Honorable Akin Rotimi, Chairman of the House Committee on Media and Public Affairs, was reintroduced following its first reading on September 26, 2024. Rotimi emphasized that the legislation, which is a legacy bill from the previous assembly, aims to broaden political participation and create more opportunities for Nigerians to run for office without party affiliations. On number two, the Senate has expressed its confidence in Senate President Godfrey Lakwabi dismissing speculations of a potential impeachment. During Thursday's plenary, Senator Yaya Abdullah PDP Kebi North raised the point of order citing Senate Standing Orders 10 and 42 to address reports of alleged moves to remove Akwabio. The Senate's unanimous vote of confidence in Akwabio shows the upper chamber's rejection of the impeachment rumors and reaffirmed support for his leadership. On number three, Dr. Tony Okocha, chairman of the All Progressives Congress in River State, has clarified that Yen Sonwike, the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, is not a member of the APC. Speaking to reporters in Abuja on Thursday, Okocha further noted that the 27 River State lawmakers currently locked in a political standoff with Governor Simnala Yefubara are also not APC members. He emphasized that Wiki remains aligned with the People's Democratic Party and has no intention of defecting to the APC despite its current ministerial role in President Tinubu's cabinet. On number 4, Nigeria's compliance rating under the Cape Town Convention CTC Index has improved from 17.5% to 75.5% officially removing the country from the Evasion Working Group's watch list of non-compliant nations. Festus Kiamo, Minister of Evasion and Aerospace Development, made the announcement through a statement issued by Special Advisor Tunde Moshud. Kiamo revealed that the improvement follows the signing of the Irrevocable Deregistration and Export Request Authorization, a key step to aligning Nigeria with international aviation standards. The move enhances Nigeria's compliance status, particularly with aircraft leasing and creditor arrangements. And lastly, Governor Bala Mohamed of Bauchi State has called on the federal government to reassess its current monetary and physical policies warning that they are exacerbating hardship across the country. Speaking at the launch of the Nigeria Development Update in Abuja on Thursday, Mohammed urged the government to adopt more flexible policies, stating that Nigerians are not benefiting from the current economic reforms. The governor painted a gone picture of the economic situation, warning that even political leaders faced public frustration. Those are the top stories. Do subscribe and follow us across all our platforms to get more of this update.